and uh, when I introduced this song, then I cried, and when I was playing the song, I cried, and when the song ended, I cried. And I was, I've never cried on stage before, and I found it mad, uh, embarrassing, and weird, and I was sort of there being like, why did that happen? And I think the reason that it happened was, um, when I write songs, they belong to me, they're my personal experience, this is, you know, my real life, these are things that I go through. And then I make the album, and I put the album out, and then it instantly belongs to you guys. Like, the music and the stories belong to you. You guys don't listen to Perfect and go, this is a song about it's what You listen to it, and you go, this, this song relates to me in this way, and I, it connects me to this person. And I think that that's why I can stand on stage and sing songs of the last 12 years of my ups and downs, and I can sing them to you without feeling the emotion that I felt at the time of writing them. Uh, and with this song, you know, it's still pretty raw, but it's been out for now almost a week, and I really feel like it does belong to you guys now, and that you guys, like, I, when I, when I, the, the feel around the song, the stories around this song that comes, where people are sharing stories of grief and sadness and loss, it, um, it just connects me to the song and to you guys more, and it doesn't make me feel as sad about my own loss, if that makes sense, because it's a, now a communal thing and we're all sort of in this together. So this is a song that means a hell of a lot to me, and I hope, if it doesn't mean a lot to you now, I hope one day it does, um, and uh, it's called Ice Rose. Sometimes 